Hello beloved, welcome again to an opportunity to walk together through the Bible series. I trust you've been well, encouraged, and you're growing in love with the Lord and also in love with one another. My name is Pamela Bukachi, and I love the Lord. I worship at Grace Community Christian Ministries. We've had a talk before about the resurrection experience. And I want us again to just walk together. And our topic today is the hope of our calling. What is that banner that keeps you going? What is that hope? What is that jewel? You find yourself going even amidst trials. I want to help us focus on this hope. We'll have a few scriptures to go through and I just want us to turn to a very unique scripture in the book of Proverbs, chapter 13, verse 12. And I'll quote it to, to us. It says, uh, hope deferred makes a heart sick, but longing fulfilled, desire fulfilled is a tree of life. Hope deferred makes a heart sick. But desired, fulfilled, is a tree of life. That's the open Bible. The NIV also quotes the same. Maybe Let me read it from King James Version. Hope deferred makes a heart sick. But when the desire cometh, it's a tree of life. So there's a comparison of something deferred Something like something missed out and then there's something that springs up. Somebody once said that love is a person. Faith is a person. Then I discovered, and I want you also to discover with me, hope is a person. Paul writes in the book of Colossians chapter 1 verse 27, Christ in you the hope of glory. So we find that Christ who is in you is the hope of glory. So we can say Christ is hope. Jesus' other name is hope. Again, Paul takes it further in the book of Romans chapter 5 verse 5 and it says, and hope does not disappoint us because the love of God has been poured within our hearts. And so we are being told of Christ, who is the hope of glory, and Christ will not disappoint us. Beloved, I don't know if you've ever felt disappointed in Christ. It will be so sad if the hope of your calling, the anchor of your calling, the pillar of your calling becomes your disappointment. I want to help correct any disappointment that you've had in this person called Christ because of the words he spoke himself. I want us to go to a unique chapter that I love studying so much, the book of John chapter 6. And we are going to read, we'll find that there are some scriptures that repeat themselves four times. When I came through these scriptures, it made me wonder why they were repeated four times in the same chapter. So turn together with me to John chapter 6 verse 40. And Jesus speaking and he says, This is the will of him who sent me, that of all that he has given me, I lose nothing, but raise it up on the last day. Keep it there. For this is the will of him that has sent me. That he who believes in him may have eternal life. And I myself will raise him up on that day. We move again to verse 44. No one can come to me unless the father who sent me 
draws him and I will raise him up on the last day. Again, verse 54. It's still Jesus talking in the book of John chapter 6. He who eats my flesh and drinks my blood has eternal life and I will raise him up on the last day. Beloved, John chapter 6 verse 39. John chapter 6 verse 40. John chapter 6 verse 44. John chapter 6 verse 54. That Jesus wants to raise us up on the last day. I think this gave me such great hope. We call him firstborn brother. We call him savior. We call him Christ. But my friends, this is so personal. If somebody wrote you a letter, you want to look at the emphasis. The emphasis here is eternal life and being raised up on the last day. It gets sweeter when you read again what he says in the book of Matthew chapter 26 verse 29. Listen, but I say to you, I will not drink of the fruit of the vine from now on until the day when I drink it new with you in my father's kingdom. That is quoted in the book of Matthew. You will also find it in the book of Mark and you also find it in the book of Luke. So it's amazing. For Jesus, it's a finished deal. You'll be with him. You'll be with him in heaven. Because he, he did his part, he came. As the Father sent him, he obeyed. He preached eternal life. We received eternal life. So the remaining part of his mission is to raise you up on the last day. And he's willing to delay he says, I will not drink of the fruit of the vine until I drink it with you in the kingdom. This is an inspiration to you, an inspiration to me. That Christ was just not telling tales. It wasn't empty promise. He is waiting for us. And so every time I even participate in Holy Communion, I'm reminded that Christ is waiting for us. Beloved, Christ is waiting for you. And Christ is the hope of glory. Christ in you, he's already in you. And he's promising to raise you up on the last day. Because now if he's in you, you are a seed that will not rot. You have eternal life. You have the capability to be raised up because in you dwelleth eternity. I urge you, this is not the time to lose hope. This is not the time to let go of your God. This is not the time to let go of the hope of your calling. Things may be tough. And I don't want to promise you there'll be any better. Because if you read in the book of Matthew 24, it's called perilous time. Jesus talked about it, but he promises us to go through it. Remember the first scripture I quoted from Proverbs chapter 13, verse 12. Hope deferred makes a heart sick, but desire fulfilled is a tree of life. Jesus is that tree of life. He comes to fulfill in us the desire, the longing that we've been having. Shall we bow our heads? Let's close our eyes and pray. 
how exciting to know that you are our hope lord jesus how beautiful to know that you committed yourself to us to raise us up on the last day how wonderful to know that even when we are sown down in the ground as a seed the bible says unless a seed falleth to the ground it abideth alone so when our bodies are sown down there is a surety that it will be raised up because you promised and you are capable because you were raised from the dead as the first fruit of the resurrected body and so we thank you lord that you are our hope you are the sure hope the hope of our calling you are the anchor of our soul and we can tap from the hope that is in you that is in us and also be able to pass it on thank you lord thank you holy spirit i pray for anybody right now going through the dark tunnel when it seems like hope is dying and their hearts are sick Lord you are not dead. You are not in that tomb anymore. You rose. And so let the desire in their hearts be fulfilled as they welcome you in their heart. This we've prayed with thanksgiving in Jesus name. Amen. May the Lord bless you as you hold on to the one who is the author of every hope. As you walk through the dark tunnel he is with you as you are wandering you have questions he is the hope of glory god bless you the lord be with you